A bipartisan panel reviewing U.S. defense strategy says the threats the U.S. faces right now are the most serious since any year since 1945. It includes the potential, they note, for a near-term major war. The panel also says the U.S. is not prepared. The commissioners, equally nominated, I want to point out, by Republicans and Democrats, say the U.S. needs to increase defense spending, partly by increasing taxes, and partly, they say, by making changes to Medicare and Social Security. So, Councilor Prescott, to you first. Should the U.S. increase defense spending, and if so, what cuts or tax increases would you support to make that happen? They do need to increase defense spending, if, if that uh, committee report is correct. How you do it is make sure that we have a gross domestic product is increasing. As I mentioned, we're up 2.8% right now. That means greater revenues coming into our country. When the uh, about four years, uh, for the past four years, we've had revenue increases of $2.5 trillion compared to the previous four years. We can use that money with a growing economy to be able to bolster our, our uh, defense as well as balance our budget at the same time. So that can be done if we have strict budgeting processes. We're not following our 1974 Budget Act, where we go when the president is supposed to deliver a, ba a balanced budget on Jan uh, the first Monday or Tuesday of February, and then we go into 12 different subcommittees where we go line by line for all appropriations. We must go back to that like we do in New Hampshire. Congressman Pappas, does the U.S. need to increase its defense spending? And if so, what are the, the tax increases or cuts to make that happen? We have seen a, a pretty steady increase in defense spending over many, many years now. Uh, and we do need to focus on um, how we can respond to that report and concerns that we hear from all branches of our military about their preparedness, about their ability to recruit, about their ability to uh, have uh, the most modern ships and planes and equipment that we need to continue to be the most lethal fighting force in the world. We need to make sure that our military is strong. And um, I work on the Transportation Infrastructure Committee on the Coast Guard and their budget. That's one important aspect uh, of our military. We've worked on making sure that we're bolstering uh, recruitment efforts, helping to procure uh, new ships and equipment for the Coast Guard. That's absolutely uh, imperative for them to be able to conduct uh, their business in the 21st century. Uh, we need to make sure that our Navy uh, is better equipped. Uh, China is uh, outbuilding us in terms of um, seafaring vessels, and we have to continue uh, to be able to catch up and to build more ships. Uh, that's important uh, domestically right here in New Hampshire. When you think about what we do over at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, thousands of jobs that are tied into that facility. We've expanded the dry dock space there. And so making sure that we're able to rehabilitate more subs uh, is not just important for our national security. It's important to the economy right here in New Hampshire.